Hey there, greetings. I'm Kendrick Henry, your local Moringa Farmer, USA Moringa Farmer. I'm here in Plant City. I wanted to show you really quick our greenhouse. I'm having such a beautiful day. We use our bio stimulant. We have so much great news to tell you. Look at this awesome little greenhouse that we have here. It's so nice, sun's coming down, get a little sunshine. Just got done with my daily live webinar that I do with the, uh, with the members of the Grow Moringa Collective. If you wanna become a member, you can just join at growmoringa.com and you'll be learning how to do all of these things that we're teaching everybody in the daily webinars, how to build greenhouses, how to put in circulation. You can see the fan there that we're putting in, beautiful fans. Um, how to get your sprinkler system set up, you know, where to get your materials and how to build this. This is a very cheap and inexpensive way to start your moringa business. So where do you source all these materials? I have all that information in the Grow Moringa Collective. You can go to growmoringa.com and to get all the moringa answers. So let's jump in and look at this beautiful moringa forest. This beautiful forest that we have here. Look at all these wonderful trees. We even have more trees over here. We're shipping all of these trees out across the country. We're loving it. We're having a great time. Of course, spring is in the air. We have a few uh, tips and tricks to share with you on how to get your greenhouse pumping with Moringa seedlings like this. So I'm actually looking to see if there's any of these trays that are a little bit dry. You know what? Some of these trays are dry. I'm just going to go ahead and moisturize them. Okay, let's just go with one. I'll go with this one here. Okay, so this tray is a little dry, right? And we're not watering overhead anymore. We're gonna go ahead and just dump this. And I'll turn this this way so you can see. We're just gonna dump this in our tray of biostimulant solution. And this is the biostimulant here. It's a really great product that we make from Moringa leaves. We have different sizes. This is much more of like the size that we could ship to you. It's made from Moringa leaves and we're soaking the pellets. So this is peat moss pellets that we get uh, anywhere. You can source them anywhere online. And we're getting the peat moss pellets and we're soaking them from below. See how the water is coming up into this tray here? I'll just let them soak for a few minutes in this biostimulant solution. So we put um, one ounce of biostimulant for every 32 ounces of water. So that's about a liter. So one ounce of biostimulant for every liter of water. Those pellets, pea pellets, are full of seeds. So each one of those has seeds in them. But you might be saying, hey, I got pea pellets before. They certainly don't have that much perlite in them. Well, that's because we're actually adding perlite as we precondition the pellets, so we'll, they come like little, like little flat, little, little dry, dehydrated pieces of pellets. That's why we call them pellets. We hydrate them just like this, soak up all the biostimulant. Then we kind of like carve out a little bit of a hole. You can kind of see here, there's a little bit of a hole here on this one. We just kind of carve out a little bit of it and we fill it with perlite. We're filling them with perlite. This might even have a seed in it way down in there and we drop a seed way down into the bottom there. I think a squirrel got to this one. How the squirrels get in here? We just put the door up. Uh, they're getting in through this, this little hole right here. Still, we gotta seal this up. Hey, Gandhi boy. It's my little bobcat, my little farm cat. What's up? You can see underneath here, we actually have the chicken wire that's um, preventing any of the squirrels from getting down and inside here. He's just saying, what's up? What's up, buddy? Such a sweet cat. He came with the farm. Appreciate all his love in here. It keeps away at least some of the animals. I don't know, man. We gotta do a little bit better. Keep these squirrels away. <laughs> so look, they're soaking it up, getting up nice and soaked, pre-soaked, after soaked. We soak them at least like once a week in here, just for a few seconds, and then we'll take them out. And then after about a week or so, they start to sprout. They'll start looking like this. This is what they'll start popping. So we just sprouted these seeds put these seeds in here about a week ago and they're all starting to come out like this within another two weeks they'll start looking like this so within 30 days maybe 45 days from sprouting the seed you get something that looks like this especially in the springtime uh, when the weather is warm uh, 
uh, when the nights are over 50, 60 degrees and you don't have any kind of cold conditions, you'll get something like this. Now we can ship these because we're starting to see that the, uh, the root system's coming through. That's a really good sign. Root system's popping through the bottom. They're ready for shipping. The next level I wanted to show you of trees that we're gonna be shipping out very soon are these bio bags here. Now check this out. The, uh, the root systems are popping through the bottom of these bio bags. These are three inches by four and a half inches. We're having a lot more success now with the peat pellets since we're watering from below. We're not really watering from above. We're preconditioning the peat pellets with the uh, biostimulant. So it's raising the pH. It's also giving them enough food to be able to last through 45, 60 days of just being in this peat pellet because this thing is void of nutrient. There's no nutrient in this peat pellet when you get it. You have to nutrify it. The way that we're nutrifying it is through the liquid way, okay, with the biostimulant. You can grab some from us at growmoringa.com. We're making it from USDA certified organic moringa leaves, juice in the leaves. And you can grab some from us to get a nice, beautiful product like this. When you start scaling up your system, you're gonna just need to uh, put a little bit of inputs, put a little bit of perlite, put a little bit of fertilizer, biostimulant. This is really helping us. We even soak these trays. Like you can see, these trays are a little bit different. We soak these, we have these little pots, and then these pots are inside these pots. And we're soaking them from below. And look at that beautiful root system starting to pop out. These are only 45 days from sprout. And what we did this morning was popped all the tops. Do you notice that all the tops are popped? Let me show you one that's not popped. I just saw one here a second ago. Oh, this one. This top is not popped, so I'll pop that top. Okay, we can eat it, you know, we can dry it. There's another uh, top that's not popped. This one's not popped, so I'll pop that top. What that does is it puts the energy back down into the root, so that way it comes back up with a little bit more thickness, a little bit more vigor, and it helps to thicken the stems up. We wanna ship these biostimulant trees with wood on them. This is our next level of product that we're gonna be able to ship out all across the country with wood so that way when they arrive to the buyers, they're not as wilted or they're not as concerned that it's dead. Here, when these ship, sometimes they still arrive a little bit wilty and the customers are like concerned like, is it dead, is it dead? And it's really not dead, it's just that it's been in a box for a few days. It needs to be revigorated with some sun, a little bit of water, it needs some time. What you can do is you can stick this pot directly into a bigger pot, right, just like that, or stick this directly into the ground. That's why we love working with these self-contained biodegradable pellets because you don't have to disrupt the root system uh, when putting it in a bigger pot. When we were using say like those cones like a year or two years ago, uh, people were pulling the, the roots out of the cones but then they would go into shock or the trees would die. And this is going to be a much better way to get these kind of products to our customers because they can just take this bio bag and put it directly in a bigger pot or directly into the ground and they don't have to take it out of this bag. These bags also are biodegradable as well. They're cloth, they dissipate within a few months to a year. You won't even know that they were there. The root system is going to pop right out of this. It's going to create a tuber. Oh, speaking of tubers, <laughs> let's go over here. I'll show you some tubers real quick. Look at these doors that we put on here. The squirrels can't get in there. Okay, so tubers what we're gonna do is have a tuber, oh, tuber party. So all of these are from large tubers. What I mean by tubers is these right here. These are the horseradishes. Look at those, check those out. This is a moringa tree, a, a moringa tree horseradish tuber that we can actually ship in the mail as a bare root product. So you don't even need to be shipping moringa trees in pots at all. Once you get trees with tubers on it like this you can just put these in a box and ship these as a bare root product and that's what we're working on right now is getting those listed on the website as soon as all these get a little bit bigger all of this is tubers all of these have huge tubers there's just a whole handful of tubers in here that um, just sprouted these are all from like our one-year-old trees that were in our pots over here we ended up just we're redoing all of our soil we're redoing all of our pots right now because it's springtime and it's good to get things reinvigorated again and um, I hope you enjoyed a little bit of um, our greenhouse. It's a beautiful little greenhouse. It's got some shade up top. Um, 
I'll be back Saturday, this Saturday, so just it's Thursday evening. We'll have Friday, we'll have to do more, a few more things on the website. Saturday, come on in. I'm hosting a farmer's market, a meetup, a Grow Moringa Collective meetup where you can come in between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. on Saturday, meet with me. We'll have a tour, a talk, and some tea, and we'd love for you to come by and see what we're working on. We've got a, a, a few different things here. You can see like a um, sunflower there, Bolivian sunflower, Mexican sunflower, some aloe, some curry, some mango. We've got chipotle cabas and avocados and loquats and things like that. Just little things that I'm doing on the side. I want to plant out here on the property, but having fun in nature, doing a little plant thing. We'll have our market, you can see. And um, thank you. Thanks everybody for coming in. Uh, you can see we got some more here. Always, always have more and more trees. And you can also, we even have a tray where you can put the trees just in a tray by itself where you don't even need to have it in multiple individual pots. Look at this, this is just one tray. One tray of a bunch of trees. I'm waiting until this gets tubers. I can pull that out and ship them just as tubers. So thanks so much for watching and joining us here at Grow Moringa Farms in Plant City, Florida. Doing lots of great things. Just pop those tops off if they're getting too tall or stretchy. You can always eat them as well. Beautiful microgreen product. Oh my gosh. Super good. Peanutty. Grab some biostimulant. Grab some seeds. All right. Bring a love. Much love. Really appreciate everybody for watching and joining. Please subscribe to get all the Moringa answers and updates from us as we continue to grow the collective of memberships and uh, we'll be able to send you orders. One of the biggest opportunities that we're providing is that I might have these trees here, but we might have a customer in California. And if we have a member that's also in California and has these trees, we can provide you as a member the order. So the order comes in, say it's 50 bucks. Uh, we're gonna pay for the, the shipping there's a commission, a 15% commission on advertising and marketing and running the website. So at the end of it, after taxes, you're getting about two thirds of the retail price. So the bottom line is whatever the price is on our website, a member is able to make two thirds of that price just by fulfilling orders with us. If they're able to ship it to the buyer, deliver it to the buyer, the point of the collective is not to necessarily be a wholesaler for you or buy your greens in a way where, hey, can you just come and buy my greens? We're looking for buyers and we wanna connect buyers with growers. We're helping to connect that and connect those dots. So we've got callers coming in. Hey, uh, I have, I, I'm looking for Moringa trees. And then we have members on the other side saying, hey, I have Moringa trees. So we're connecting those two parties and that's really what we're doing with the Grow Moringa Collective. I'm sure here as we continue to grow the collective, we'll have uh, orders coming in for thousands and thousands of trees. And so in that case, we might say to the membership, hey, does anybody have a 500 trees or 100 trees or 1,000 trees that we can buy at a wholesale rate? But right now we're just kind of getting started, just come in and learn as we can continue to grow and build the collective up. Things are always and consistently changing. Uh, with the market, trends, what we have, what's available and not available. I've had a great day, I hope you do too. I'm gonna to go ahead and head out of here. Peace, love, and prosperous growing. I'll see you soon, ciao.